the seven step protocol treatment protocol that is that already uh, told you uh, so let us see one by one step one, step one investigation for the confirmation okay so consider only type 2 diabetes mellitus i am excluding the type 1 diabetes mellitus from this protocol we can you can treat but uh, we are not including the type 1 diabetes mellitus in this protocol okay type 2 diabetes only okay what are the investigation c peptide i i, uh, I think you, all of you know what is c peptide c peptide is a protein that is produced in the body exactly at the amount of the insulin produced by the islets of lagrange of uh, pancreas okay the first uh, thing we have to do uh, if you are treating a case is to check that c peptide uh, it costs uh, around 1000 rupees why because if the pancreas is not working why should we treat the case if the uterus is not there can we treat for infertility like that the c peptide uh, what modern medicine people what they are doing to diagnose the type 1 di diabetes only but my dear friends from my 20 years of experience i am telling 20 years of experience in treating diabetes mellitus it will be negative in some cases especially iddm insulin dependent diabetes mellitus the c peptide will be negative why because the islets of lagerhans is not at all producing uh, insulin why because the insulin is supplementing so this is very particular in a case of uh, in, in cases of iddm insulin dependent diabetes mellitus if you are taking a case of insulin dependent diabetes mellitus you have to check the c peptide uh, when we started this uh, project in the uh, 2010 our result after five, four uh, years was 14 percent one four 14 percent it is an iso iso certified institution what they are telling you is that you have to produce 50 plus 1, 51 percent result must, must be there. So they told us to stop uh, this project. There is absolutely no need of continuing this project of diabetes mellitus, treating diabetes mellitus. You have to produce a minimum of 50 percent result. So there, there were no option. So we take an exclusion criteria. If there is no CPT, we are not taking the case. And after five years, that is in in the year uh, 2018 I think. the result was 82 percent the same medicine we are giving the same doctors are consulting the same thing what we are doing but there were an exclusion criteria and hba1c you know it is an average of uh, the the glycator uh, glycator hemoglobin hemoglobin for 120 days so whether we have to treat drug level that means uh, whether we have to continue the modern medicine or uh, give an alternative or the medicine level the medicine for the diabetes mellitus or the remedy as a curative remedy single dose like that this hba1c will uh, defend that will decide that and gtt in pregnancy all of you know uh, glucose tolerance test in pregnancy anti-insulin antibody needle uh, for an annual remedy in follow-up that we will discuss later in certain cases anti-insulin antibody and anti islet cell antibody are necessary my dear friends this is not at all important for uh, modern medicine the so-called modern medicine but this is very very important for us we'll see uh, the reason in in coming slides or in, in coming minutes so these are the basic investors investigations that we have to done before taking a case of diabetes mellitus. and the second thing during the treatment, we have to send the patient for urine microalbuminuria. You can very well send the patient for uh, serum creatinine, serum uh, blood urea, like that. Before that, we have to send the patient for urine microalbuminuria. As I uh, told you earlier, it is our duty to prevent the complications. So we, we want as a, a, a renal complication and the major, compl renal, major complications of the complication of the diabetes mellitus is diabetic nephropathy. We have to prevent it. If the patient is under our treatment, we are not expecting a diabetic nephropathy. So, urine microalbuminuria. It is mild up to 500. Calivorous 30 is a medicine. Now, we are starting uh, about the medicine also. And a moderate 500 to 1000. You won't ask me about the repetition. That, that, that is according to you. 
and if if it is heavy between the thousand and three the thousand, then only comes APC. Then only comes APC. And if it is in a protein range more than three thousand five hundred, then uh, you have to interfere with the yield serum. Okay. And if there is no C peptide, or if it is reduced, there are uh, various markers. Three is there. Point three is there. There, three hundred is there. Like that. If the C peptide is low, that means the ILS of Lagrange is not working. You may produce insulin by giving your our medicine, but that is not included in this uh, protocol. Let us skip it because we have to uh, we have to have the cure rate. To produce the cure rate, uh, you may exclude the cases where is the no C peptide or the low C peptide. You have to exclude. You may exclude it, and as a usual procedure, what we are doing: height, weight, abdominal circumference, or the center of obesity, body mass index. You know the formula of the body mass index and blood pressure. This is mandatory in every case. When we, when we are treating a case with the protocol, this is mandatory in every case. So let us move for the step two: drugs to reduce the blood glucose level. Why I am telling about the blood glucose level? Patients are very much worried about the blood glucose level. It has to come down. But the symptoms are uh, if the symptoms are uh, reducing, or if the patient is feeling better, that doesn't matter. The, uh, the blood glucose level has to come down. Then only patient will uh, admit us. Or then only patient will accept us. So uh, uh, this is the drug drug level. Uh, what we are going to discuss is the drug level prescription. Diabetes is a disease that can be prescribed uh, according to the drug. Drug means to uh, reduce the symptoms, to reduce the uh, serological markers, to reduce the blood glucose level. And the medicine is to space the disease. Uh, it is a uh, it is just like the uh, just like Singona for uh, malaria. Okay. And remedy that is a, that is correct. So we will see what are the drugs for uh, uh, diabetes mellitus. So uranium nitrate. I am not going to tell all the drugs uh, uh, for the for diabetes mellitus. If at all we are prescribing a drug that to reduce the blood glucose level, then again there should be symptoms. Uranium nitrate. The symptoms are sleeplessness. Wide discoloration of the tongue. You have to uh, ask the patient to show me your tongue, not to show me your pocket. Show me your tongue. And gymnema silvestra, bitter taste of sugar in the mouth. You have to tell the patient to add sugar to the to your tongue. If you feel bit, uh, bitter, then that is gymnema silvestra. And Susidia, the most prescribed remedy in uh, diabetes mellitus, uh, heat upper part of the body, ulcers and miliary rubra. You know. But malaria over there will be skin symptoms in cesium. Then only cesium is indicated. And cephalandra indica, dryness of the throat and mouth, uh, like that. So whenever you are prescribing a drug, that also should be uh, well versed with the symptoms of the patient. And acid force tincture, acid force tincture means that is one drug or three, I think. Enfeeblement in the mo emotion, than to the physical pain. So the weakness started in the mind. I, 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 I am not able to work. I am not able to think. I am not able to look. I am not, not able to read the newspaper. That may be the enfeeblement of the emotion. Then in the physical plane. That means he cannot move uh, like that. And acid like he can. Polyurea, polyphagia with the rheumatism. Polyurea, polyphagia, you know, with the rheumatism. Uh, weakness and nausea. That is indication of acid lactam tincture. All these tinctures, these two tinctures are, uh, if at all we are telling tincture, it is acid, it will be in 3x or 1x or 3x. And helonias, one of sexual disease, sexual weakness. This is indication of helonias in diabetes mellitus. With the diabetes mellitus, especially in female, promoter of sepia, then neuropathy dies. So, when neuropathy the patient may be sepia. Okay, you know, uh, th this is a constitution. Uh, within the framework of this uh, uh, protocol, I am telling 
don't prescribe i am telling you don't prescribe sepia so I, this is the right time to prescribe helonias helonias is a promoter of sepia later on you may prescribe sepia and egale folia better to prescribe egale marmolus egale marmolus is a seed folia is the uh, leaves okay diabetes mellitus with gastric and neurological complication this neurological complication is more important in egale folia we are preventing uh, a, a later complication also okay let us move for the medicines for the disease just like what what we discussed earlier uh, the symptoms of the diabetes mellitus cop up with the symptoms of our medi our medicine diabetes mellitus and our medicine uh, i am not going to explain the symptomatology of all the of all the medicine acid phosphoricum i do believe that this acid phosphoricum made our our, our uh, study or our uh, hepatitis b clinic worthy and as brometer i am not going to uh, explain any any uh, any symptom uh, right now because of lack of time maybe because of lack of lack of time or maybe because of an initiation uh, to create an initiation in your mind to read these remedies and nas mosquito all of you know what are the symptoms of the nas mosquito dryness of the mouth sleeplessness sleepiness uh, dryness of the mucous membrane the various symptoms of uh, uh, of diabetes mellitus is there in nas mosquito then again we are not prescribing my dear friends so we have to find out what are the symptoms of the diabetes mellitus and and what are the similarities or the or the and i am not talking anything about phosphorus uh, i think you know what phosphorus is but it is one in, it is an infallible remedy in diabetes mellitus natramur Uh, six, six, why am I? I am uh, mentioning this potency very well. Uh, the six six is working uh, more than any 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 other uh, other potency. Uh, better than any other potency. Okay. Opium or not? When the well selected remedies fails, uh, you may take like that. And opium uh, will prevent the renal complications also. Tuja is an infallible remedy in uh, in curing uh, diabetes or or spacing the diabetes uh, or uh, preventing the complications. And natrosum six six. This is very very particular natrosum six six. And a mu and murus P. Uh, why I am putting in in a red color uh, or side line? It is a medicine uh, for the diabetes mellitus of pregnancy. It is only a medicine for diabetes mellitus of pregnancy. Hello, am I am I audible? Hello. hello yeah okay so we are moving to the uh, last one <laughs> there were no response at all that is why i, I asked okay no problem no problem okay remedy to prevent the complications and recurrence this is very very important uh, when we are prescribing a remedy then only we will become a homeopathic doctor okay so remedy to prevent recurrence that is important so this is the uh, this is the most important uh, area or most important part uh, or, or or the most important playground uh, where we have to play so a remedy to prevent complications okay so uh, below 6% hba1c hba1c is uh, uh, deciding whether we have to treat remedy level so below 6% of hba1c is there is no no need of any any drug there is no need of any medicine so there should be strict diet control here only we are uh, suggesting diet control to the uh, to my diabetic patient initially we will give and later on we are not giving any dietary suggestion why because we have to be different from the modern medicine so we have to uh, allow the patient to take anything and everything so in the initial stage when, when we are prescribing the uh, drug uh, prescribing the drug level we, we can suggest uh, diet then there is no diet prescription at all uh, this is really interesting and good control 6 to 7 is good control uh, 
remedy or or remedy uh, so uh, in, in below six also you you may give a constitutional remedy what all what all may be the constitution of the patient you may take and give a single dose no problem and good control six to seven per, uh, percentage uh, preferably madornum carcinosin dna one why dna one is that if there is family history of diabetes mellitus it is better to give dna one this is my suggestion or you may uh, select other uh, remedies uh, other uh, or the, or the constitutional remedy also and fair control 7 to 8 remedy plus medicine acid force naxmos phosphorus arjun and nitricum you want to ask uh, about the reputation and the potency so these are the medicines listed to my junior doctors he he or she may select a better one among these remedies among these medicines so prescribe that then uh, then the uh, blood sugar level will come down okay so i'm uh, getting so much of pause in between that's why uh, there is obstruction okay remedy to prevent complications and uh, recurrence so you may uh, write down all these things or take the screenshot of this slide this is very very important phosphorus or posticum for retinopathy if you are anticipating retinopathy Il seven thirty and pervenna thirty. This is a this is just like a remedy to prevent nephropathy. Il seven thirty or pervenna thirty. Kali for sixes and sifilinum and or sifilinum fifty m neuropathy in neuropathy. Madorna ten m, sifilinum fifty m, sulfur one m. This is the first time I am uh, telling about sulfur and carcinosinum one m to prevent the recurrence. Once it is cured. we are offering that there won't be any recurrence to prevent the recurrence madornum tenum sifilinum fifium sulfur vannum carcinosin vannum to prevent the recurrence and it is not like that madornum vannum today sifilinum tenum tomorrow sulfur vannum tomorrow day after tomorrow morning and carcinosin uh, on the fourth day not like that you have to think these are the medicine or these are the remedies in front of you which is suitable for this patient then you take the uh, then you prescribe then the, there won't be any recurrence okay so the diet <coughs> what this is my suggestion <coughs> there should be at, at least 7 uh, to 8 times they have to eat pray by pray for, this is the only direction what are things they want they can take just avoid uh, sugar and uh, the the uh, food uh, Food materials prepared from sugar. That's all. Pre-breakfast timing is very very important. Breakfast timing is very very important. Mid-morning timing is important. Lunch timing is important. Afternoon tea timing is important. Again and again, I'm I'm telling about the time. They have to take something in in between in in, in the prescribed time. And dinner seven to eight, okay. And bedtime uh, very late, uh, okay. That that they can decide. Uh, uh, that will vary according to the custom of of various uh, part of india or various various part of uh, of the world so this this is my only dietary uh, instruction to my patients okay the logical philosophical guideline you may just think that what is happening in diabetes mellitus initially there will be first there will be weakness there will be emaciation like that start loss over it then move into psychotic there will be obesity there will be retrench of the urine there will be retrench uh, there will be renal failure and finally the degeneration so this is the go of uh, uh, diabetes mellitus start as a soric if you can interfere at the soric phase that is well and good if you can interfere interfere at the at the psychotic phase then again it is well and good, good. if you can interfere even at the sibilitic phase like the the complications of the diabetes mellitus then again it is well and good my dear friends why because the modern medicine can't do anything at the at, at the that moment so all these phases are well and good for us so the purely uh, the sympathetic diabetes mellitus we are going to talk about the purely uh, about purely sympathetic diabetes mellitus so this is our cup of tea we want allow anybody to treat such cases so we will see and the insulin antibody if it is possible there are ever so many diabetes cases which is not responding to the insulin insulin resistant diabetes mellitus that is the time so we have to check anti insulin antibody 
is the anti insulin antibody or anti islet cell antibody is positive this is our cup of tea medicines never allow any system of the medicine in the entire world to put their nose into this matter this is our cup of tea we will take this case this is the this is our playground so there is absolutely no no need of castigating again <laughs> i am telling so uh, uh, you might have see the and the medicine uh, i am not asking you the question if the anti insulin antibody is positive and the c peptide is negative what it means c peptide denotes that there is insulin produced by the islets of lagerberg okay so c peptide is absent then anti insulin antibody is positive so what it means you you may use your uh, chat box so there is no insulin at all the insulin is coming from outside and an anti In in the system, what may be the reason? I think there is no uh, chat box answer is there. Hello. That means that in the case of IDDM, if 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 patient is taking okay antigen antibody reaction okay antigen antibody reaction uh, doctor okay a uh, rejection okay rejection. okay rejection because the the insulin which is giving from outside is rejected by the body okay you are right so what is the medicine that we are prescribing for rejecting the foreign body from our system from our body from our tissues if there is there is a thrown penetrated uh, uh, okay uh, yeah okay so elisha silesia silesia will expel the foreign body from from our body this is what happening in insulin resistant diabetes mellitus if the c peptide is negative my dear friends see the the importance of the c peptide and anti insulin antibody for a homeopath it is not at all important for an allopath it is not at all important for the the, the so called scientific uh, system this is important for us we have a medicine that will expel the foreign body which is inside the tissue that is silesia already you told so which potency we are giving for to, to uh, for expelling the foreign body usually low potency or high potency which low potency 6s 3x up to 30 and if if body is rejecting the insulin which is coming from outside to suppress This is the word I am using. We are not not. To suppress the tendency to expel uh, to expel the foreign body, we will prescribe high potency. Okay, we will prescribe high potency. That is in ten m potency or one m potency. I think uh, you got what I am. telling there are ever so many cases of insulin resistant diabetes mellitus there is absolutely no answer in the modern medicine my dear friend this is a field for us to treat the diabetes mellitus cases so whenever there is insulin resistant diabetes mellitus with the c peptide low then we you have to think about silesia this is our our, our cup of tea take it and anti insulin antibody uh, plus c peptide increase that means uh, there is an antibody against the uh, insulin produced inside or inside our body so that is purely similarity a uh, dose of sulfur and tannum or uh, a better anti sibilitic pill work so the prevent to prevent complication circulatory if there if you are anticipating circulatory complication of pedia group that is from the snake uh, group and no if you are anti anticipating neurological uh, complication spiders are best better and if you are anticipating a renal complication medicines from p 
fish are better. And if you are anticipating a retinopathy, then minerals are better. So these are the heroes in my uh, my treatment, my experience for the uh, past 10 years of experience. Sulfur vannam, Madoran tannam, Carcinosin vannam, and Sibylinum fictium will cure the case. This is what uh, I have to convey with you. And the last part is the end point. End point. You have to uh, find out the treatment. So there are only uh, four things. Without medicine, if you give placebo or uh, even without medicine, what we are doing, we are not giving placebo. We just uh, tell them to keep off your hands. Without medicine, if there is no, uh, HbA1c is not increasing even after 120 days. With the diabetic diet and exercise, okay. Then again, somebody will follow the diabetic diet and exercise. Without exercise and diabetic diet, we have to insist the, insist, insist the patient to avoid exercise for three months, no problem. And take the, uh, take anything and everything. Avoid the uh, uh, diabetic diet. Then again, if it is uh, negative, it's well and good that to declare that the diabetes case is queer without either exercise or the diabetic diet. They can leave us, uh, they live before uh, the development of diabetes melters. And if, if at all, the, if, if, if even after that, there is no uh, diabetes at all. If, if even after that, uh, even after four months, the HbA1c is below normal, then this is the time to wind up the thing. Okay? Uh, this is the protocol about the treatment. I am guaranteeing 70% of the result through this protocol. Really excited to do uh, the, the, the rest of 30% uh, right now. And if time permits, we'll discuss. Are you interested? So remember, this is my, my one and only reminder to uh, no diabetes melters in the entire world got cured by CCGM things are my different. Don't prescribe uh, this CCGM to every patient. There is no cure at all. It is only in the drug level to reduce the uh, blood glucose level for the time being. And if you are interested, we will spend another 10 minutes. Uh, already on alternate day. Okay. Uh, what they are asking, uh, how to taper the dose and all. Okay, all, all these thing, uh, things are... Uh, Little bit elaborate, I will give you in. Uh, uh, you may just mail me. I'll give you how to reduce the dosage. I am not the reducing all the dosages of uh, oral hypoglycemic agents or or even uh, this uh, insulin. All of a sudden, it can be tackled. So let us take another 15 minutes. But all of you must be active because it is your session. It is not my session. Uh, I am just asking you, and you are giving the okay. Repeat the Test again. Okay, okay. You have to uh, there, there may be ever so many uh, uh, questions regarding uh, the repetition of the test uh, regarding the investigation diagnosis and all. So, uh, if you are interested, we will uh, discuss something for uh, next 15 minutes. But I am, I am, I am just giving you the the platform. Okay, random recording my problem. Uh, there are ever so many questions regarding the the investigations. I that I will tell you later because uh, we cannot uh, make it happen within uh, one hour. Okay, so, so shall we proceed? So the true homeopathy is always out of the protocol. That is out of the box. So the 30%, why? Because after uh, doing a research or after doing a study, after doing a clinic for 10 years, now I am interested to play out of the box. There are 30% of the cases not yet cured with homeopathy medicine. So what we can do in such, uh, such cases? This is really challenging. If you are interested, we will uh, we'll move forward. There is no excitement in following uh, uh, protocol, my dear friends. Protocol is developed by somebody else. This is what the modern medicine people are doing. Protocols are developed by somebody else and they are following it. They will get bored. So, as a homeopathy, the, the real excitement of homeopathy lies in that 30 percent, which is not cured at all, even with the homeopathy medicine. That should be underlined, even with the homeopathy medicine, even with the modern medicine. 
even with ayurveda medicine even with naturopathy even after exercise even after diet control there will be 30% of the diabetes cases that is not yet cured this is our exciting field why because it's a paradigm shift we are entering into a paradigm shift please be with me for the next 15 minutes are you ready to be excited let us have a trial that is what i am uh, asking you uh, are you ready to work out a case okay uh, my request is uh, you have to tell the rubric i am uh, I, i will i will tell you to start uh, interacting with uh, start uh, doing something then you have to uh, to be active okay so this was a, this was not a case of uh, not actually a case of diabetes but just uh, he was admitted in a uh in a de addiction addiction center we are uh, doing a de addiction program for the past 14 years and he was admitted in at atmada kendram changaneshi there is home for the treatment also this, this that is another story he was admitted there and uh, he was suffering from uh, mania potu what we call the delirium tremens withdrawal symptoms so let us start uh, this was his feeling Uh, we are not going to work out the case right now i will tell you to suggest a rubric and all the world is at fire that is what what was the delusion uh, at his mind world is at fire world fired or, or, or what we call the 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 entire uh, globe is under fire so nobody will escape that was his feeling so this is uh, this time i am uh, we are not treating the case for diabetes mellitus uh, sulfur maybe okay okay sulfur maybe you may tell uh, the symptom publicly also no problem uh, pessimist okay pessimist so this is not the time to uh, find out the entire constitution of the patient what patient is telling that is important for a, a de addiction center the world is at fire the entire world is at fire nobody will escape that was the uh, phobia of fire okay phobia of fire what may be the medicine my dear friends delusion fire that is good uh, doctor living job okay you know delusion fire so that may be a, a better of so from right uh, right now onwards we are concentrating or, or we are uh, going along we are moving along with the repertory also so what, what may be the rubric in uh, in repertory fear of salvation may, that may be a, an a indirect interpretation at that time uh, we don't know uh, what may be the reason so uh, let us move i think let us move forward delusion fire world is on uh, sar sarvesh congratulations that is a rubric exactly on the same time you and me uh, i took and i saw the rubric uh, the fire mind mind delusion fire the world is on i and a better anti civility remedy was kapas uh, from my experience uh, putting things in fire fire was pyromania is it not audible am i audible hello am i audible yes okay okay so uh, i prescribed uh, hepasop 32 doses hepasop 32 doses so he just escaped from the pyromania or, or the fear of fire so you can see the the rubric uh, the world is delusion the fire world is on fire that, that was only symptom uh, i took uh, during the uh, mania putu for the delirium tremens for the uh, withdrawal symptom okay uh, he was almost okay with, the, with this uh, this herbal salt the delusion gone and along with the insulin he was taking insulin or oral, oral hypoglycemic agent and somebody asked uh, how to reduce dose along with this is when we are prescribing our drugs if it is not at all uh, improving along with the modern medicine we can give so naxomica one num I, i gave what i gave i did naxomica one num uh, for uh, alcoholism uranium nitrate for 3 years as a drug safranra indica followed by gemna i never prescribe two mother tense together after that gemna ma silvestro there is no improvement at all with oral hypoglycemic agents and uh, insulin and then move to phosphorus almost all symptoms covered with phosphorus and natrosum sixers trachy level natrum more almost remedy level 
that all work and arsenic album 30 that works a little bit you please remember all this thing arsenic album 30 that that work little bit but again uh, the uh, this ppbs and uh, fps increase and with the initial memorandum only uh, fps and ppbs uh, then it is increased without any improvement except in alcohol alcoholism is not clear he has the tendency to take the alcohol then I, then and uh, again then and there again but actually the the condition is the case is not at all cured there is some improvement from uh, from the part of the patients and the bystanders as a homeopath it is a failed case my dear friends it's a failed case why because we prescribed uh, the, 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 the the dilution was over that may be due to withdrawal of the alcohol too after taking the the food and all that may be uh, relieved and there is no improvement at all this is a condition so let us start uh, working together this case are you ready if you are ready we will move forward so you have to tell the rubric whenever i am telling uh, the, the some statements you have to tell the rubric there is absolutely no need of medicine there is absolutely no need of potency there is absolutely no need of repetition you have to tell the rubric who uh, who all are uh, ready to give the rubric they have to tell the rubric uh, the main problem still persists uh, persisting is that he is having an addiction to the alcohol he has to take the alcohol uh, there is still the, the, the desire for the alcohol is there so start uh, suggesting rubric this for many good so what is our purpose it has to be ruled out it has to be ruled out it has to be ruled out with our uh, medicine. This for many. Okay. Alcohol is our alcohol dessert. Any other rubric? I think people are afraid to tell the rubric. <laughs> no. Don't be afraid to tell the rubric. I will accept. Many are open to it. Really, really. Many are open to it. So, actually. Uh, special delirium remains next to uh, Never tell the medicine. Why not? Tell the tell rubric only. Okay, maybe like that. So there is a rubric. There is a, a, a particular rubric. Alcoholism withdrawal from support. This is the rubric, my dear Why? I am not blaming you. Why? Because you are not uh, you are not well versed with the to management of alcoholism. I have been uh, in my name of alcoholism for the past 20 years. So this is the rubric, alcoholism withdrawal from to support of it. This is this is the uh, this is the exact rubric for many a book. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll move move forward. The next thing is uh, there will be gloomy and ill-tempered. That is in the in the morning. Uh, we'll shout to, to the people with or without alcohol. Even without alcohol, in the morning, you will be gloomy and ill-tempered, ill-tempered. There will be anger, there will be shouting, there will be uh, confrontation in the in the morning without, without alcohol. Irritability, okay, good. Uh, but doctor, it's good. Irritability in the morning, so it should be uh, very specific. Uh, I think there is no, not much suggestions. Maybe typing. Uh, the morning is important, morning. Is gloomy and ill-tempered. Temper tantrum. Okay, temper tantrum. There is no rubric. We are talking in terms of rubric. Temper tantrum is uh, absolutely right. Absolutely right. It is. Uh, it is more for children. Temper temper tantrum is uh, more for children. Okay. Uh, if there is not much rubric, I am moving forward. Uh, the rubric is uh, morose. Morose in the morning. Morose. This is a rubric. You, you may just go through this rubric. For when we are treating the, this 30 percent percentage for excitement, you have to very uh, very well versed with the rubric, very well versed with the patient also. So morose in the morning, morose morning. This is a morose morning. Okay, living uh, job. Uh, you are my pet. You you know all these rubrics. And a guilty conscience. What is a rubric for guilty conscience? At least you you have to answer this. Uh, question uh, at least you have to select the rubric for this condition what is a what is a rubric for guilty conscious 
remorse good anxiety conscience uh, that that's also good for a second for a second is uh, there is nobody to take care of me that is for second remorse remorse is good remorse good i do think uh, the guilty guilty consciousness consciousness means what he did that that haunt him that is hunting him remorse remorse good and again uh, whether you are taking rumors or the or other rumor is not a matter and sit here uh, sentiment uh, good prayna good rob okay and sit the consciences i do give okay reproaching himself uh, this is a rumor reproaching himself and if at all you are taking uh, if at all you are you are taking the rubric what do you suggest there there won't be any harm remorse is good uh, and uh, reprimands that, that that also good all the medicines will come under uh, this rubric reproaching oneself and uh, he has a fear of disease even after uh, uh, not taking the insulin in between uh, not uh, taking the diet regularly taking alcohol or whenever he Uh, get the time he will, he will take alcohol then again there is a fear of disease what is the rubric for fear of some some disease uh, is going to happen uh, in his, his body what is the rubric hypochondriasis is every disease uh, rajeshagar uh, doctor anxiety disease good urban uh, oh oh urban doctor okay. anticipation okay it's a broad broad rubric some this fear impending disease fear of uh, doctor zuvidia okay doctor zuvidia tell me you are fear still okay uh, fear of impending disease uh, that is a rumor uh, fear of impending agoraphobia there may be lot of problems okay fear of impending disease impending that is a that is a rumor okay oh, oh. going to clear one cell so okay <laughs> that is a, that is something great clairo if you can think like that that is, that is something thinking out of the box that, that's a lot of thinking clairo is i don't know who told it i do appreciate you so you are having the wisdom to think like that that's all and good and he was spending than anything not saving for uh, a rainy day uh, he is a he is a spender than a than an earner uh, he has uh, two uh, female child they are growing also but he was spending and nothing uh, saving for anything squandering good 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 squandering squandering that's a squandering money that is a exact word uh spend trust that's also good carelessness good seven doctor there are something you are you are get acquainted with the robot i know uh, squandering the, the, that is a the, uh, really the the rubric is pandering extravagant that's the rubric okay uh, i am so happy to see that all of you are well versed with the, the repertory and uh, to interpret the mental symptoms i am really 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 happy <laughs> okay uh, for the third time when i am uh, reaching to mnr if you are uh, doing like that then i will come again uh, <laughs> that is a fact okay uh, anyway spending uh, spending pandering uh, heedlessness or carelessness that, that all, all these things are okay all these things are a real rubric and if if you are uh, taking a rubric if you are taking another rubric no problem at all but the exact rubric is vivacious uh, sorry in, 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 improvident vivacious is uh, other uh, improvident means uh, they are not any they are not cons- uh, concerned about the uh, the future so the squandering the, the squandering rubric is right the remedies under squandering is there in improvident also improvident also so the improvident means uh, they are not taking care of the future so they are spending and the importance of improvident rubric improvident is that if at all there is need of money in uh, later life then again they are not uh, considering it that is a heedless somebody somebody uh, uh, suggest the rubric careless also okay let us move and uh, he can't think anything uh, he is unable to think he cannot use his mind what is the rubric for uh, cannot use his mind 
confusion okay confusion uh, okay the thing is he cannot use his brain almost impossible concentration if you uh, inability to think good good but but there is no problem confusion okay so broad term priya you are right but uh, there is no i want in terms of food stupidity means good subhas good good stupidity means we cannot think at all that means uh, he is not thinking at all he is not able to think think cannot uh, some dullness okay mental obsession aversion good 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 uh, mental obsession aversion yes you have to you have to check the if you have the laptop in front of you uh, that is mental obsession aversion impossible impossible that is a rule there are exact rubrics in our uh, report you see maybe you are right but there are specific and exact precise rubrics are in our report when you are stepping into this 30 percent you have to well versed with all these things no problem at all you can uh, reach uh, up to the uh, right rubric at the right time no problem i mean making your suggestions again and again okay and there are pangratics all of you know this is a this is simple uh, there is absolutely no need of uh, taking rubric it is because of alcoholism in alcoholism the uh, one of the side effect of the alcoholism is inflammation of the pancreas so pancreatic uh, inflammation of the pancreas these are the rubrics we took dilution fire vision off oh, it is already over and mind alcoholism all of you know mind alcoholism somebody took the mind alcoholism also mind alcoholism withdrawal from to support of this, this is the rubric i took and morose in the morning and reproaching oneself fear the disease of impending improvident improvident means spending without thinking about the uh, the need of the future without saving anything uh, for the future without saving anything for the future mental obsession aggravation or impossible that already uh, you told already and up down in inflammation pancreas jungus diabetes mellitus okay all these are these these things are the disease symptoms so this was a condition uh, serum c peptide 966 uh, that is 966 so it, it's a case to be uh, treated with the uh, with the homeopathic medicine okay uh, i think you are getting it right so what are the disease symptoms in this case i am let's bit fast forwarding because of the lack of time so what the uh, the symptoms of the disease delusion fire vision oh that's a disease symptom already you told this is mania potu so we can avoid it and alcoholism is a disease symptom alcoholism withdrawal of support this is also a disease symptom morose in the morning is not a disease symptom reproaching oneself okay it's not a disease symptom fear of disease <coughs> impending disease not a disease symptom there is no connection with the diabetes mellitus or alcoholism improvident is <coughs> not having a connection with the alcoholism or the diabetes mellitus mental obsession aggravation impossible no connection with the disease and diabetes mellitus and inflammation of the pancreas are the disease symptoms so let us exclude the disease symptom so what are, what, what things are uh, uh, remaining when morose in the morning so we are approaching to the patient level reproaching oneself fear disease of impending improvident and mental obsession aggravation impossible these are the patient symptoms that is what we call as patient symptoms there is no connection with the with the, with the disease with the, these symptoms of the patient so we recognize the case with the patient symptom and the the sba1c was 8.7 and the main glucose level uh, was 203 it is above the threshold the, the renal threshold is 180 so it was above the threshold and uh, as as we discussed earlier okay okay what is the maximum number of uh, rubrics that is 8 maximum number is 8 okay that is uh, the, that is another thing and i prescribe phosphoric acid why because we have experience with the phosphoric acid later on that is why i prescribe phosphoric acid in this case uh, not a, a single dose repeated doses four months and 16 doses six doses of patty six doses of uh, uh, 200 in uh, weekly doses then 15 days and four doses of 1000 was prescribed 
and the reserve was HbA1c 7.8 and the mean glucose level is 177, 177. It is not yet QA. It's coming down. Anyway, it is coming down. And uh, symptoms persist after four months. What, are, what were the symptoms persist after four months? So what is going? Alcoholism. There is no alcoholism at all. And uh, delusion, I think it is just already, already gone. Inflammation pancreas already gone. Uh, then, the approaching oneself already gone after after giving acid pulse. Dilution already it was already it was gone, and the remaining things are mind and and mental exertion aggression impossible. Mind improvement is there. Fear of disease impending it was there. Morose morning was there. Alcoholism withdrawal because. Uh, he has a tendency to take alcohol. He, he, if I get a time, I will take. But uh, I am respecting my uh, respecting myself. That is what uh, he told me. So these are the symptoms uh, and the, the remedies of natrimorphine, phosphorus, and calcare oils. I told you arsenic can work a little bit earlier. So I selected calcare oils in this case. Natrimorphine already given, but in low potency, phosphorus. Uh, already given or acid post was given. That is why calcarea ars was selected. And why I selected calcarea ars is it is a supporting medicine in our project uh, for the past uh, uh, 14 years for uh, in, in our de addiction project. That is why I selected uh, calcarea ars 30 and 200. Six doses of 30 and six doses of 200. Repetition once in uh, two weeks, once in week, one once in a week, then once in two weeks. And after three months, uh, the symptoms disappear. Mind alcoholism, withdrawal, gone. Mind morose, gone. Mind fear of disease, impending, gone. Mind mental exertion, impossible, gone. And the only thing that the, uh, what, her, what his wife told is that he is still not earning uh, something. So this is also our duty. Because we are stepping into the 30 percent of of, uh, of that, uh, which is not cured with the modern medicine or even with our uh, protocol. So improvident, he is spending that energy. Uh, you can see the the HbA1c 5.2 and the mean glucose level is 103. It is okay. Uh, there is absolutely uh, uh, no question of damage to the kidney or uh, no question of anything. Anything uh, happened with the diabetes medicine. But my dear friends. When we are stepping into this 30 percent of cases, it is our duty to bring back the, uh, this person to the normal life, to take the best out of him. This is also our duty. And this is the right time to prescribe on the basis of the improvident. Natramore is again there. I don't believe that if you prescribe the Natramore in the beginning, it won't work. We shut all the all the leaves, all the decayed leaves, all the old all the leaves of the tree. Now there is only one green leaf that is improvident. That is to be that has to be grown. So I prescribe a dose of natrimo one of them, single dose. Of and this was his uh, the, the first one is his previous store. He sold out everything. I spent money. And he filled the, the, the store again with the dresses and everything after uh, that removal. And back to the life. And my dear friends, uh, I think it is high time to uh, stop this session. But before that, uh, as a conclusion, I have to tell something. He is very well, uh, very, very well versed with his family. Loud his family well. This is also a rubric. This is a personal rubric. This is something. Uh, positive in him, and he is having love for animals. This is this is some uh, things what he did for our our community, and uh, love for animals. That is another rubric, and he is uh, having love for the uh, for the nature. This is the uh, the cultivation what he made uh, after after uh, after getting cured from the from alcoholism actually, and not not even before getting cured. Uh, from diabetes medicine. and only because of these three symptoms my natural love for my animal love for and uh, my family love for love family for these are the three medicines costicum 
carcinogen and phosphoxin my dear friends again we are coming back to the uh, this protocol why i am telling these are the curative medicine there is a future plan if something happen in the future that is nothing but carcinogen i am confident the armamentarium is ready to fight against the disease we should train our desire to show the way to our dreams if you have a dream not just dreaming train out this you have to train uh, your desire to show the way to your dream and then your desire will show to your dream and i have nothing to say remember only one thing diabetes melts no diabetes melts in the entire world got cured by suicidium tincture if you stop if you are stopping uh, to prescribe uh, suicidia from tomorrow onwards if you stop prescribing suicidia from tomorrow onwards onwards then again i am so happy i am so happy so this is all about uh, the management of diabetes matters thank you very much for your uh, patient listening uh, i think there is no time for any, uh, for an interaction you may send your doubts in chat uh, the host will hand over it to me i i will send you uh, answers in your whatsapp or in your mail thank you so much thank you manila doctor uh, i think uh, we finished in the exact time thank you 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 concluded in exact time so that is what yes. we are maintaining from uh, our olden days uh, in isk yeah 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 short nights okay yeah. the olden thank days you. of isk are coming to uh, yes sir uh, I, uh, i saw them so i have to attend another meeting uh, immediately after this uh, so I, I will answer your questions if, if something is there i'll answer later i will i will send you the uh, questionnaire to you okay. you answer it and i will uh, give it to them in the next uh, on Definitely. next Definitely. saturday Definitely. thank you so much let me leave yeah thank you sir thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. it was a very pleasant and very good very good presentation thank you sir thank you The next webinar is on 12th September 2020, Saturday 11 a.m. Professor Dr. L. K. Nanda is presenting the paper. The topic is homeopathic approach in cervical spondylitis. The webinar will start exactly by 11 a.m. Anybody is having any, uh, any doubt to, uh, or any questionnaire in today's uh, this thing? You can send it by chat. I will take the chat and I will send it to Dr. Biju. Get the answer and will be delivered to you in the next webinar. And thank you for the patient listening. Thank you everybody once again. Thank you. <laughs>